Hi everyone. Um, this is my project to do a complete cooling system overhaul on this uh, 1998 BMW 528i. Basically, this car has been overheating for the past uh, three months or so. Uh, the first time it overheated, I replaced the thermostat and the uh, water pump, and then uh, that worked for a little bit, and then recently it started overheating again and uh, it actually blew the uh, upper radiator hose right here so um, it does look as if the uh, the radiator is bad because when the in when the engine is like uh, at temperature I noticed the lower radiator hose right here is uh, the lower radiator right hose right here is completely cold so it looks like there's some blockage somewhere so what I want to do now is replace everything again so the uh, radiator uh, the thermostat and the water pump um, I've already started draining the uh, the coolant as you can see there and uh, these are all my replacement parts here uh, radiator the uh, the water pump the water pump and the o-ring and the thermostat and the o-ring and the uh, upper hose and the lower hose also okay so that's gonna be my uh, project okay so okay so first thing I'm gonna do is remove the uh, the fan and the fan shroud uh, I've already um, Losing the, the fan nut, I used uh, this tool, a 32, and uh, I, I just made this one to hold the uh, water pump bolt. So you gotta use, find some way to loosen that uh, that nut, and then uh, there are a few tabs. There's a tab here that needs to come out, and there's another tab here also that needs to come out this uh, expansion tank the uh, the hose the hose needs to you need to loosen it uh, for the expansion tank and uh, also at the bottom at the bottom the I don't know if you can see the hose um, it's secured to the radiator uh, through some tabs you got to loosen that yeah, I already did that. Okay, and then this little electrical piece here, I'm gonna take that out. Okay. Okay, so now you just gotta. Uh, I'm gonna spin the fan until it falls off. Okay. Alright, there we go. So I'm just gonna pull the remote. Out. There we go. The expansion tank fell out. It's not a big deal. Okay, so now I'm going to take out the uh, radiator. Um, the radiator ha the radiator has two tabs, one right here and the other one right here. 
that hold it to the frame so I've already loosened the uh, the screws those are small 8 millimeter screws uh, take take those out and then uh, the hoses I've already loosened the, the clamps just pull that out and uh, pull that out of here also okay and then the uh, the lower the lower radiator hose comes out of there and uh, comes out of here also okay and then the uh, coolant temperature sensor um, I disconnected the harness and uh, you're gonna have to loosen this and put it on the uh, on the new radi radi radiator okay and I disconnected this hose also that goes to the expansion tank so the radiator should come out now Okay, so I've loosened the water pump bolts. Um, you can loosen this. It's better to loosen this with the belt on. Um, it comes off uh, just like that. All right, and then uh, I'll take the belt off by uh, um, loosening the uh, the tensioner or taking tension off the belt with the tensioner. Okay, I'll just like that. Okay, so the four bolts that hold the water pump to the engine, I'm going to loosen those. Okay, so I'm taking off the water pump. I have uh, a pan in there to catch the coolant because obviously not everything in the engine is drained. There's an engine drain out there over on the other side that I'm going to take out when I... Uh, when I'm refilling the coolant, okay. Right, so. This is the water pump. Uh, it still looks. It still looks pretty good. Uh, not seeing any play or anything like that. So. With these overheating issues, you just never know. Uh, this cost me about thirty bucks, so it's worth uh, it's worth just changing it, you know. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm just gonna replace this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna replace the uh, the thermostat. This is the thermostat housing. I'm gonna have to take that out.
Okay, as a thermostat. Just gonna pry that out. Okay, so the this is the thermostat housing. Um, obviously, this gasket uh, I'm gonna have to put a new one, uh, and uh, I'll just put everything back like I uh, took it off, really. Okay, so I've got everything back together. Uh, new thermostat, new water pump. Um, I've put the belt back on, so now I'm I'm just gonna use the tension of the belt to tighten this uh, this water pump uh, bolts. I use a torque wrench. It's uh, just gives you a little bit more accuracy. You don't want these bolts too tight. Okay. Alright, so I think uh, just get the radiator back in, um, refill the coolant, and uh, see how it goes from there. Okay, so uh, I've put everything back together. Um, now I just need to. Uh, Add the coolant and uh, bleed the system. I've raised the front uh, a few inches. The car is already on an incline, so I'm gonna remove the uh, the bleed the bleed screw right here. Okay, and I'm gonna add coolant. I have the uh, I have the fan running. It's on high heat, just so that the coolant circulates into the heater core also. You can probably hear that running uh, in the back of the engine. Okay, I'm gonna close that. This is a process that probably takes. Uh, probably need to do this more than once to really get a good bleed. From my experience, because I filled it and I come back, and there's still air bubbles. So. Alright, I'm gonna close that, run the engine for a little bit, and then check the coolant level again. Alright, I hope uh, you found this informative, and uh, until next time, thanks for watching.